I'm Silvio. It has finally come the time to introduce you a new argument for this channel, the reviews. I will try to do as often as possible, even off-season, unboxing and full reviews of buildings, figurines, table accents, attractions and so on. And I will try to be as thorough as possible in order to allow you to have a total vision of everything is involved with Christmas villages. Let's roll! When I was vlogging my little adventure to Peraga store, I told you about this building. It is from 2018 Lemax collection, uh, from Cuttington set collection, and it is among the masterpieces ever created by Lemax. It is Nora's Christmas boutique. Let's get a look to the packaging from backside. Part number 85344-2018 Lemax Incorporated. Everything is explained and detailed in multiple languages as usual with standard Lemax packaging. From each of the sides you have a preview of the full uh, building here the other side and from the front side you have uh, the complete frontal view of the buildings with some inserts concerning the two uh, lighted scenes inside the building itself. Now it's time for the first unboxing of Nora's Christmas Boutique. Uh, let's just open uh, carefully the box for the first time. I don't want to ruin it. And here we go. Inside we have standard styrofoam case with the standard velcro strap. Let's remove the styrofoam case from inside the box. Here we go. Inside the box we have one um, info notice, one caution notice in multiple languages, of course. And we also have a, a welcome and congratulation notice. Uh, everything from Lemax is uh, handmade and uh, it is clearly detailed in this notice. Let's go ahead with the styrofoam case. Part number 85344, bottom. So this isn't the correct way of opening it. Once again, 85344, Lemax, top. Let's open the Velcro strap. Here we go, and for the first time, here we have Nora's Christmas Boutique. Inside we have the LED light bulb from the new uh, series, because uh, uh, once it, they were totally different, and this is the new a version with LED inside. We also have the adapter. It's not an AC adapter because it needs three 1.5 volt batteries, AA batteries, WA batteries, and I generally don't use this kind of adapter because I prefer to use direct. Uh, directly AC adapter to light the building, but I will explain it when um, the time of the gathering will arrive. Let's try to remove and find a way to remove uh, the building from uh, the case without uh, damaging anything. It's always a little tricky because I don't know the building yet. 
and I need to find a way to extract it without damaging it. Here we go. I've extracted it without the problems and let's remove this. We have as usual uh, some silica gel inside to prevent the humidity from damaging the buildings because it is pure porcelain. And here we go. Let's try to find the hole for the light bulb. Here we are. And voila! First unboxing of Nora's Christmas Boutique. And that is everything was inside the uh, box, the packaging. I will have to do a full review of it. Let me just get everything in place and I will start with the full review and let you see in details everything from Nora's Christmas Boutique. After the first unboxing of Nora's Christmas Boutique, uh, let's continue with the full review. Part number 85344, as I just said, and uh, 2018 Caddington Village Lemax Collection. Let's start with the dimension of the building, and I will go first width, then height, then depth. 8.4 by 7.2 by 4.8 inches, or 21 by 18 by 12 centimeters the weight 52 ounces or 1.5 kilograms it is a heavy building as it is entirely made from porcelain Caddington uh, village so it is a Victorian era uh, village 1837 up to 1901 Let's see if the building fit this era. Now, let's uh, get a look all around the building. Here we go, one side, back side, the other side, and the front side. Let's have just another little spin around. Okay, let's go more in depth. Let's start from the back side. Here you will immediately notice some imperfection in the painting, but it's the beauty of those kind of buildings. They are being handmade one by one, so some little imperfection is uh, the roof. Uh, the roof uh, has a form of uh, some sort of tree canopy, and uh, that's all for the roof. Let's get a little more down. Here we have the hole for the LED light bulb and the two false windows, one from each side of the hole. Let's get down a little bit more. And here we have another two false windows. And that's all from the back side. Okay. Let's get a look to this side. Here we can appreciate the canopy roof, some sort of canopy. Uh, the first frieze, the first Victorian frieze here. Uh, it is a gold frieze on top of some uh, red. Another two Victorian frieze here and two windows. Those are real windows, those are real holes here, there. Six holes there and six holes here. Some more uh, blue roof there. Let's go further uh, down and here we have another small imperfection. But it's beautiful like that. 
uh, this is a canopy or an awning and uh, all the building has uh, those sorts of uh, canopy slash awning and here we have a, a wide window a real window uh, with uh, real holes going there and this side is completed by a wooden barrel and a little uh, pine, a Christmas pine here uh, with uh, no decoration at all and this is from this side uh, ok, let's look from the other uh, side ok, let's go from this side voila same sort of course of uh, canopy style the uh, roof very uh, light blue very pale blue the same uh, victorian frieze we just saw from the other side and the same windows we had from the other side let's go further down and here we have uh, another sign nora's christmas boutique it's almost a 3d sign and anyway this is the uh, service entrance this is not the main entrance another um, canopy another awning still with some imperfection but it's magnificent like that uh, a red door with some uh, gold here and there and a mistletoe wreath with a red bow and of course some uh, advertisement uh, snowflake collection and from the other side the quality tree stand <laughs> obviously I can see that they aren't perfectly aligned perfectly vertical but this is beautiful these imperfections are beautiful a wooden uh, crate here from this side some stairs here to get access uh, to the um, service entrance and I think that's all from this side too okay let's continue with the real star of the building the main attraction of the building the front side here we go with the front uh, side and let's start from the roof once again the canopy style at the roof but this time with many more Victorian friezes here some grey friezes, here some black on top of uh, yellowish friezes and we also got a very big wreath with a Christmas butterfly red bow and some uh, Christmas balls as ornaments for the wreath itself let's get down a little further some more detailed friezes here, much more detailed uh, from the front side than from both the uh, sides here we go again two more detailed friezes and uh, very detailed windows then from each side of the windows we have two nutcracker soldiers does they fit the historical period? let's see um, the Nutcracker is so popular today due to the Tchaikovsky ballet, classical ballet. And, uh, but the Tchaikovsky produced it in 1892, so in plain Victorian era. But the story is based on a novella from A.T.A. Hoffmann, from Ernest Theodor Amadeus Hoffmann, uh, a German writer that wrote this uh, uh, novella in 1816 just before the Victorian era but uh, Tchaikovsky is in plain Victorian era and by the way the novella was named uh, The Nutcracker and the Mouse King so perfectly in line with the Victorian era here we have uh, some uh, strange um, Victorian frieze also on top of the head of the uh, soldier even if the soldier was uh, Russian and not English anyway uh, 
a little mistake but everything is good uh, let's go further down with the magnificent uh, shop sign plenty of uh, golden freezes very detailed those are the best freezes from all the building and uh, we have a yellowish uh, signs with uh, some more mistletoe and uh, some more freezes here red on yellow Nora's Christmas boutique with uh, a 3D effect uh, very 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 interesting and uh, let's get uh, some more down here we have the main entrance door as the previous door it is a red door with uh, some uh, uh, Mr. Tovrit on it and the classic uh, Christmas butterfly bow uh, some more Victorian fees here on top of this uh, blue uh, sign here some stairs uh, some flowers some red flowers here um, a Christmas uh, tree this one is decorated with uh, Christmas balls some uh, gold some red and some blue uh, Christmas balls we have an open crate full of uh, uh, Christmas balls and uh, also some uh, stars here and from the other side um, another little sign another little advertisement Nora's close out sale glass blown ornaments very detailed and let's get a look to this uh, freeze here the same freeze as we got here on the blue sign and very detailed very uh, almost perfect <laughs> even if we can't speak about perfection for an unmade uh, building and uh, that's all I think from one of each side let's talk about the inner uh, scenes um, two more red canopy uh, or opening if you prefer this time with less imperfection with less painting imperfection inside the left window we had we have a snowman and a little sign with let it snow and some uh, very well packed christmas uh, gift very well wrapped the Christmas gift sorry uh, from the other side from the right side uh, window we have uh, some uh, bigger uh, Christmas tree also with uh, many uh, Christmas balls uh, golden balls red balls blue balls and some more uh, bigger uh, already wrapped uh, packages and that's all I think I've detailed all the aspect of the main uh, of the front side sorry let's now talk briefly about the pros and cons of this building almost everything is a pro starting from the perfect uh, Victorian profile of the building the roof uh, very interesting colors yellow with red with black and as you climb down the building you find some more vivid colors some more red some more gold then black on yellow gold again for the profile of the uh, shop sign then a big red canopies, some blue in contrast with the red and the grey of the bricks the, uh, two, uh, the two scenes inside the windows the multicolor red balls and the uh, stars inside the crate everything has been uh, developed to attract your eyes 
absolutely perfection for this kind of building. The building must not be anonymous, must be very, very, very attractive. Also from the side, uh, they have developed uh, this uh, kind of uh, 3D uh, sign here and also here we have uh, 3D letters here fro uh, from this side you can appreciate it more those aren't flat uh, or just uh, printed uh, um, letters but they are 3D letters nor as no this is uh, painted, this is and uh, painted but the uh, Christmas boutique is uh, it has a 3D effect because those are letters applied on the uh, sign itself and uh, the colors are just uh, perfection there's no man inside with some green and we haven't uh, green in this scene uh, exception for the, the snowman with his uh, scarf and his uh, green gloves and uh, everything is uh, colored and uh, everything is perfect uh, all the bricks are grey so obviously we have a big contrast with everything else that is perfectly uh, colored from this other side, from another angle too, uh, the two big uh, rapid packets inside the window and the barrel, absolutely everything is a pro for this building, even if it has many many imperfections, but hey guys, every building from Lemax has imperfection, 1, 2, 3, 10, 20, they are just pure perfection. Ah, you haven't seen the legs of, of the soldiers from the other angle, so let's try to see also uh, the legs of the nutcrack uh, uh, soldiers. Uh, so here we go, uh, red trousers with the black shoes for the uh, soldiers. And I think those aren't uh, really soldiers because uh, this is characteristic for some colonel or genera. But anyway, this is uh, uh, not important. And th those are the pros, the cons. The main and only big cons is the roof. This is Cattington Village. This is set in winter. We can't have buildings without snow on top of the roof. Big mistake. I also have other buildings from Cattington uh, Village set that suffer the same problem. I just added some. Uh, snow uh, made from plaster. So the lack of snow for me is a really cons for this building. They could have a place some snow here and there, one big piece of snow on top of the main roof, some more little pieces here and even some more snow on top of the canopies would have been a great, a great addiction. And uh, the other little cons are the fragility of the, these little elements. They have been, as always, hot glued on the main building and they are very fragile. Don't even think to uh, take uh, your fingers and grab the buildings from the crate or the or the tree or the signs because uh, the glue uh, isn't as good as we think and also this effect I don't like this effect but it is common to every buildings with some addition uh, 
uh, they aren't a part of the main building so they need to be glued in some way and this is the result also from the side the barrel and the tree are glued to the main building I'm used to that so I'm aware that I must absolutely not grab the building from any little ornaments nor not the barrel not the uh, trees nor the sign mm, absolutely uh, nothing and uh, the two uh, windows uh, the two windows aren't uh, uh, perfectly aligned but who cares let's get a look from the side uh, you can appreciate here more precisely they aren't perfectly aligned with the buildings who cares this is the absolute perfection for me I'm sorry I've repeated it many 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 times but uh, I uh, I am sure that uh, very little amount of Lemax buildings have reached this kind of perfection I think I've said everything just another look from another angle here and there uh, let's have this angle here okay also the crate isn't perfect but uh, I love the, this building it will be placed in some special uh, place in my uh, 20 20, 2021 village the village I'm actually building and I think uh, I've said everything concerning uh, this building I just uh, eh, I've omitted to show it uh, uh, lighted but uh, it, it isn't a, a big difference uh, from the actual view and this was the first ever <laughs> review I've done on this channel. Not the perfect review, but who cares? Not perfect buildings, not perfect reviews. It's just a way to let you know every single aspect of this magnificent building. And my first ever review is also done. May I just ask you to comment down below and tell me if I should continue with this kind of review or if they aren't of your interest and I should simply stop doing them. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give thumbs up. Thank you for watching, thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English and if you wish, see you next time.